thanks everyone and thanks for having me uh, alongside all my uh, wonderful cohorts. Um, so Valera Health is a telemental health company using a team-based approach in data science. We spent uh, the first three years really iterating on the technology, which I'll tell you a little bit about. Um, just a few points I think everyone has made, um, certainly the background and the landscape points here. Number one is um, we're in a crisis now uh, because we don't have enough psychiatrists. We are, we're missing 10,000 psychiatrists and of the ones that we have, almost 70% are not accepting health insurance. Um, the second thing is really inappropriate utilization. I think oftentimes consumers are approaching mental health by calling a 1-800 number through the insurers and oftentimes they're given five names, but they don't necessarily see the right person. And so they may be seeing a therapist, but they actually need medications for management. So that's a big problem is a mismatch. Number three, um, you know, as an internist, I measure diabetics progress by looking at their HB, HB1Cs. But um, in mental health, 90% of the providers right now aren't really measuring how patients are doing with their recovery process or their depression or anxiety. And so we're not, in, at least in mental health, we're not really focused on measuring outcomes. And I think, um, you know, we need to think about that. And uh, Valera Health is actually doing something about that. Then lastly is this disconnect between mental health and primary care. Um, just a couple more points about the tailwinds of COVID. We're seeing a tremendous uptick on in activity and traction because of COVID. And um, I think uh, my cohorts have actually talked a lot about this. Um, and we're seeing um, you know, a thousand increase uh, in the national suicide hotline in terms of the calls. And that's, that's incredible. It just seems like a lot of people are suffering out there. Um, I think it's only gonna get worse over the next six months to one year. Uh, the other big legislative issue is that Congress is thinking about a permanent stay for um, the relaxed rules that Kevin talked about, especially for Medicare and Medicaid beneficiaries. And also a lot of the plans have eliminated co-pays. So uh, my co-founder is a psychiatrist based out of Harvard and he's a research scientist. Um, I worked on the Affordable Care Act as a congressional staffer, worked for the Obama administration and was a chief medical officer at Merck Pharmaceutical. So we come from a lot of healthcare experience. So for, for the first three years, we iterated on a platform and started selling the platform to optimize mental health service delivery for payers and also for health systems. So we built the technology based on some of the workflows and the learnings that we got from others. And that's to include a robust chat feature, telehealth feature, and one of the notable things is we actually use the passive data from your smartphone, such as geolocation and activity, and we correlate it to the conditions such as depression, anxiety, and we can create alerts for the care team. And on top of that, we've created a lot of content, meditation exercises, as well as CBT modules. And so what we've done is coupled that with clinical services and become a full stack model since January, and we work with a comprehensive service model, meaning we have a coach, a therapist, a nurse practitioner, and psychiatrists all working together as a team within our platform. And this is just a, a, a sample about some of our New York City uh, providers. And so we have a wide ranging uh, expertise and we're on one platform, one EMR, and we operate like a cohesive private practice. We're very, very driven on outcomes, and this is some of the outcomes that we've demonstrated on our platform is 54% depression improvement versus 14% usual care, and 27% depression remission versus 9% usual care. And we've demonstrated 70% engagement um, and we have over 5,000 patients on the platform right now. This was a case study done by the APA on the Montefiore client. So the, the workflow is pretty easy. Um, you go onto the website um, and you press the consumer tab, you request a consultation. 
we have a coach speaking to you and do a 15 minute consultation to kind of match you uh, with a therapist. It's not done by an algorithm, it's done by a human. And we actually solicit a very thorough history on whether you need medications or not, or whether you're in crisis. And then once you download the app, we start off with the PHQ-9 screening or GAD screening. PHQ-9 is for depression, GAD is for anxiety. And we start collecting some of your activity data and you're scheduled to see a therapist or a psychiatrist. And if you need one or the other, you're, you can make a re, we can make a referral through our coach. We've also partnered with Capsule so that you can get your meds delivered right uh, in, uh, you know, at your doorsteps. So now you can get your anxiety medications delivered in person. The business model right now is um, CPT coding fee for service but we started value-based models with payers, um, helping them improve their HEDIS measures, particularly their seven-day and 30-day follow-up measures. And we're also still selling the software to payers and to providers. So how we're different from other telemental health providers is we actually integrate ourselves with the insurers and actually develop programs to help their HEDIS measures. We measure outcomes, we have predictive an analytics and AI using smartphone data, and we're a very, very comprehensive model. This is just an example of one of the uh, programs we call Pathway to Wellness, and it's really focused on the seven day and 30 day measure following discharge. And some of our prior investors include Blue Cross Blue Shield Arizona, and we've raised 4.5 in the past. Okay, so just time for one or two questions. Um, a interesting question from Einar Sawyer of UCSF, um, as you scale, how will you maintain the personalized approach? So one of the things that we've started doing is actually partner with schools. Um, so we've already developed relationships with the deans at CUNY, um, which is a city university and also Arizona State University. And so what we're doing is taking on um, therapy and nurse practitioner interns, and then actually in, and integrating them with the Valera culture and the ability to actually do monthly rounds with them. And so it's really creating this training program for new employees to maintain that human scale. And the other thing is that we're constantly um, improving our human capital pipeline. 